A good air Shabbos Parshas Nitzavim. So Nitzavim is here and Rosh Hashanah is in the air. Rosh Hashanah is in the air right around the corner. As we're going to read on Shabbos, Atem Nitzavim Hayoim Kuchem Lifnei Hashem Eloikechem. All of us stand before Akadosh Baruch Hu. Right as the Svarim Chadoshim speak about, right, how Nitzavim always falls out. It's always falling out right before Rosh Hashanah. We can hear Akadosh Baruch Hu speaking to us, we can hear Moshe Rabbeinu speaking to all, all of us. And what's fascinating is, is that Rashi points out, what does Rashi say? Rashi says, Atem Nitzavim, that Moshe Rabbeinu on the day of his death, the day of his Misa, gathered all of Am Yisrael to be able to give over what Moshe Rabbeinu was sharing with us. Moshe Rabbeinu was sharing with us for all of Doris. Question is, go through the Pasuk, Kulchem, all of you, Rashechem, Heads, Shifteichem, Zikneichem, Shatweichem, and we have right, heads of Shvatim, Skeinim, Shoitrim, Kolish Israel, Tapchem, right, children, Shechem, women, Gericha, Shebeker, Barachanecha, right, the Gerim, right, Mechoitev, Eitzecha, Ad Shoyev, Meimecha, right, from the wood chopper to the water carrier. Now, Who's Moshe Rabbeinu speaking to over here? We were in the Midbar, okay? We were in the Midbar. I'm, I'm a career coach, but they were in the Midbar. They were in the Midbar. They, they had the man, what water carrier? I mean, <laughs> they had, they had the Bear Miriam. We have the Chazal to explain what was going on with the cutting wood. What's taking place? Now, Rashi addresses this, right? Rashi addresses this according to the Gemara and says, we, well, I mean, we understand. What was taking place? He says, Melabin Shabbat Kananimis, Gaivim, Moshe. Who were these wood choppers and the water carriers? They, they were the Gerim that came. And therefore, just like we see in the time of Yoshua, right, that the Givonim came, right, to so to that they were Gerim that came. And they were, these were the people, right, these were the people that were the wood choppers and the water carriers. Question I want to throw out here today and discuss right, is what's the relevance for us? As we know that the Torah, we know that the Torah is eternal, there's the message which is being shared with us is something that Hashem wants us to hear in our days and in these, during these times. We have in the speech of Moshe Rabbeinu a little bit later in the parsha, Moshe says the very powerful pasuk, "Hadoisi bechem hayoyim, es hashemayim v'es haaretz." Right, I bring before you who are going to be the witnesses, the bare witness of this bris which is taking place. What better witnesses? Shemayim, aaretz, chayim v'amavus nasati lefenachai. Put before you life. I put before you death. Bracha v'aklala, blessing, curse. Ubacharta bechayim, choose life. Moshe Rabbeinu is screaming, choose life. What does that mean to choose life? So there's a medrash we've spoken a lot about in the base medrash. Right? It's brought down, it's not a medrash, it's Gemara Yerushalmi. Gemara Yerushalmi, Rabbi Shemal says, what's the Bechar to Bechayim? You should choose life. What Bechar to Bechayim is you should choose a profession. Choose a job. Question is, is what's Moshe Rabbeinu saying over here? It's Moshe Rabbeinu, this is a speech. Choose life, choose death, and get a job. So, in order to understand this, just a little bit of a, it's, it's a big topic, but a short suggestion. We have to understand, yeah, actually there was Moshe Rabbeinu's message on some level. Obviously there were different, different levels of understanding. But Moshe Rabbeinu was speaking on the last day of his life to a generation of people that were going to be going into Eretz Yisrael. This was a generation where there was born and unlike the generation, right, that was Yoyitzim Mitzrayim, in which for them, their job was not to work, right? They had the man, they had the water, they had everything that they needed, they didn't need to get new clothes, right? This generation, which was going to go into Eretz Yisrael, Moshe Rabbeinu is giving his farewell address to them, was a generation that, yes, they were going to go out to work. They were going to be involved in work. When is Rev. Volvi, brings down, he says that actually Moshe Rabbeinu was the one who told them what their jobs were going to be. It was Moshe Rabbeinu who told them, you're going to be the farmer and you're going to be, you're going to be, uh, you're going to be develop, the building roads, right? you're going to be taking, yeah, you're going to be the shopkeeper. Moshe Rabbeinu told each Jew what his job was. So here we have Kla Yisrael. Here we have Kla Yisrael standing before Moshe Rabbeinu on the last day of his life. What perhaps can Moshe Rabbeinu be Miramis to them? But I saw, I saw that the, the Dega Machna Ephraim on these words over here, the woodchopper to the water carrier, so he says, Afshad Rames, 
It's speaking about the whole the whole existence of the Jewish people. He quotes, he says that the woodchopper is talking about Av- about Avram Avinu, right, connected to the Eitz Adas, right, and who's the water carrier? The water carrier is himself. Moshe Rabbeinu was saying, from Avram Avinu to myself, from all that period of time. So Efsher we can say, Efsher, right, just like a good Rav, you know, he has to give over a Musa Drasha to the, to the Balabas. He doesn't, you know, call him in for a meeting. So, you know, the Drasha on Shabbos, He's speaking, and you know, while he's speaking, he's also a little bit of a remez. He gets in the message, hoping that the right person, you know, the right, not the wrong person, is going to hear what he's saying. So actually, maybe we can say, yes, pshat, we can't, it's in the pashut over here. Who are the wood carriers? Who are the, who are, who are the water carriers? Who are the wood choppers? The gerim that came, as Rashi brings down from Chazal. But perhaps, perhaps Moshe is being a remez. Listen, Chavri, I just told you what your assignments are. Maybe some of you guys are thinking, I couldn't get a better job. It was the last day of Moshe's life. You know, the, 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 these are the door going into Eretz Yisrael. What this guy, you know, this guy, at least he's a chashev, uh, he's, he's going to be a manager, or he's going to do a startup. What, me? <laughs> Thank you, Moshe. I'm going to be carrying water. I'm going to be cutting wood. Uh, is that really so important? And Moshe Rabbeinu, Moshe Rabbeinu is trying to tell us, he's trying to tell them, he's trying to tell us, yes. You're going to go into Eretz Yisrael. U'bacharta b'chaim, u'bacharta b'chaim, choose life because you should know. You should know that this avoided that you're involved in outside of the base measures, outside of the super coal in the Midbar. And any job, even the street cleaner, whatever you're doing is an opportunity for Tveikas, and it's Ratzon Hashem, and you have the opportunity to connect to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and He wants us to connect to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So as we stand a few days before Rosh Hashanah, we have, we have most of the days of Elul behind us. You know, I know for myself, you know, sometimes we can feel like a little water carrier. Like, what are we done? You know, like, we think we go to Slicha sometimes. You see like that guy who's like in Kolel, he's like, Dami Medesimah then, like wiping your eyes. And gosh, I had a late night. I was working late hours, taking care of this. So many things on my head. We feel like we're a schlepper. We feel like we're cutting wood. Or you feel like, who are we? And forget about Elul. What about my whole entire year? What have I done with my time? I've cut a lot of wood. I've schlepped a lot of water. I've filed a lot of tax returns. I'll tell you, I made a lot of money. I closed on a lot of accounts. I swapped a lot of streets. I made a lot of microchips. I come, lifna HaKadosh Baruch Hu, lifna Hashem, kulchem. What am I? What have I done? And the answer is what Hashem wants us to hear these days. Lifna Hashem Elokeichem. David Melch tells us the answer. And this will close. It's one of the famous questions that are asked, right? We say, David Hashem, David Melch says, It's a famous song. One thing, Hashem, I ask of you, right? What is that one thing? Shifti Bemez Hashem, call you Mechaya, you should be here. We are here, Baruch Hashem, in the base of Medrash. Call you Mechaya, Shifti Bemez Hashem, to be in the base of Medrash. Right, to be in the base of Mikdash. Koyu mechayai. Lach sois benoyam Hashem. I should be able to relish right, in the sweetness of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Ulevakar behechalo. I should be able to visit the, be- the hechal, the base of Mikdash. So they asked, right, the Tzadikim asked, David Amelach asked for one thing. He, he says one thing and he asked for two. And not only that, the two things, they contradict each other. One thing I ask, you know, our kids do that. Just one thing. This and this. What did David Melech want? Did he want to live his whole life in the base Hashem, in the base Hamikdash? But then he says, to visit the base Hamikdash. So one of the answers which was given, not the one I heard when I was in Yeshiva, when I, after, after I think I left Yeshiva, I needed to hear a different answer, was, look at David Melech's life. He wasn't in the base Hamikdash the whole time. We know he wasn't. He was fighting wars, he was the king, he was taking care of a lot of things, the medrashes, meetings with this one, meetings with that one. David Melech, to visit the base of Middash was Gewaldi. To visit the base, he wanted to be Zaycha to go to the base of Middash. He wasn't, right? At the Mishkan. That's what he wanted to do. The Vakr to visit. What was Shifti Be Beis Hashem? David Melech was davening, and this is David Melech's tefillah. Somebody who was involved in many things. Please, Hashem, make it that everything that I do, my bias, all the aspects of my life, all the bills I take care of, all the little technical things, pick, carpool, picking up this one, taking care of that one, arranging every little detail, sometimes drives us insane. Make that, it should be a base Hashem, that I should have the ability that even when I'm involved in all of those secular things, when we're involved in all of those things that seem to be very distant from HaKadosh Baruch Hu, it should be a base Hashem. I should be able to connect it to Hashem. And this is 
what we come into Rosh Hashanah, each one of you guys listening, each one of you, whatever you do, whatever you work in, whatever you're taking care of, whatever takes eight, ten hours of your day, you're a soldier, right? And each one of us, we should go into Rosh Hashanah with our marching, marching, right? Even as we walk out of the base of Medrash, we walk out of our shir to recognize whatever you're doing, the water carrier, the wood chopper, each one of us is playing an integral role of bringing a Giloi Hashem into this world. Have a wonderful Shabbos, and you should have a chesima, a chesima, a We should be zaycha, each one of us in our way, right? That Hashem should give us the abilities and all that we need so that therefore we're able to serve Him with our kochos and with our uniqueness.